In this lecture we'll start talking about hyperlipidemia. So let me take you step by step through some basics, then to the journey of the lipids in the body, and at the end we'll conclude the mechanisms of the drugs used for hyperlipidemia. Hyperlipidemia, means, elevated concentration of any or all of the lipids in the blood. But lipids such as triglycerides and cholesterol esters, are insoluble in water. So how do they circulate in the blood? Lipids are transported in plasma in the core of particles, known as lipoproteins, that have a hydrophilic shell, of phospholipids, and free cholesterol. This surface layer is stabilized by one or more apolipoproteins, which also act as ligands, for cell surface receptors. Apolipoproteins, also known as apoproteins, are proteins synthesized in the liver. So we can say that lipoproteins consist of lipids and apoproteins, in different types and amounts. Lipoproteins are classified based on their density to, chylomicrons, VLDL, very low lipid lipoproteins, LDL, low lipid lipoproteins, and HDL, high lipid lipoproteins. Because lipids are lighter than proteins, particles that contain more lipids are larger in size, but have lower density. For example, chylomicrons have the lowest amount of proteins, and the highest amount of triglycerides. So it has the biggest size. While HDL has the highest amount of proteins and the lowest amount of lipids, so it has the smallest size. And very important information we should know is that cholesterol is produced endogenously from acetyl-CoA, after a series of reactions. And the key enzyme for its synthesis is called, HMG-CoA reductase. So let's see their journey and their functions. Dietary cholesterol is absorbed in the intestine, and carried along with triglycerides, phospholipids and proteins and chylomicron. Then chylomicrons circulate in the blood delivering triglycerides to the tissues that need it for energy or storage. In muscle and adipose tissue, the capillaries possess an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase, that hydrolyzes the triglycerides to fatty acids. Then fatty acids enter the muscle cells for energy, and adipocytes for storage. Then after hydrolysis of triglycerides, the chylomicrons begin to shrink and these remaining particles are called chylomicron remnants. Then they end up in the liver. The liver packages its cholesterol with triglycerides, into particles of very low lipid lipoproteins, VLDL. VLDL travels in bloodstream to other organs. During circulation, muscle and adipose tissues gets fatty acids from VLDL, again through hydrolysis of their content of triglycerides by lipoprotein lipase, turning it into intermediate density lipoprotein, IDL, which is converted through circulation to low density lipoprotein, LDL. LDL main function is to transport cholesterol to body tissues. So peripheral cells take up LDL by endocytosis, using LDL receptor. Then cholesterol can be used, to maintain cell membrane integrity, and to make hormones. Then excess cholesterol is exported from the cells, and delivered to high-density lipoprotein, HDL, to be returned to the liver, in a process called reverse cholesterol transport. The liver uses cholesterol to produce bile. Then bile, is secreted to the intestine, where it helps break down fats. Part of this bile is excreted in feces. And the rest is recycled back to the liver. So high levels of LDL in the blood, are associated with cholesterol plaque buildup, and cardiovascular diseases, such as heart attacks and strokes. For this reason, LDL is known as bad cholesterol. On the other hand, HDL is called good cholesterol, because it removes excess cholesterol from tissues and bloodstream. So now we can conclude the mechanisms of the drugs used for hyperlipidemia. Inhibitors of endogenous cholesterol production, they inhibit HMG-CoA reductase. Inhibitors of intestinal cholesterol absorption. Inhibitors of bile reuptake. 
and lowering triglyceride levels. There are other types and details we'll discuss in the upcoming lectures. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon to make sure you won't miss any of the upcoming videos.